Hi again. The great debate between May and Corbyn failed to materialise and the anti-fascist demonstration on Sunday was hijacked, recuperated by Momentum, Labour and Stalino-Trotskyite front groups. The sight of the party of war, social cleansing in London, would have had me targeting these middle class authoritarians and gross hypocrites rather than the deluded plebeian followers of Tommy Robinson. Unfortunately, I was too ill to venture out to hear Diane Abbott and other discredited politicos spew out their double dealing garbage. They have swamped and fire blanketed any genuine anti fascist movement. A totally new approach is required. We cannot allow ourselves to be associated with the left under any circumstances. Something fresh is needed, like the Yellow Vest school students movement in France. Despite the incredible mind-boggling social peace still prevailing here, the government's blatant backsliding out of today's ratification vote, trouble brewing could finally spill out onto the streets, if only outside Parliament, next month. We have a ruling class government opposition totally fractured. They have all boxed themselves into a corner and checkmated themselves as anger, despair, incomprehension and a feeling of betrayal sweep through the population. Such disarray and confusion and chaos usually forms a background to social and political upheaval and revolution. It could still do here. Anarchists, malcontents, want to seriously challenge the system? An opportunity may be a, appearing quicker than you could imagine. But you've got to jettison middle class identity and studenty politics and spend less time fruitlessly marching against Tommy Robinson and start using your imaginations and get reconnected with class politics and prepare our, so far, limited resources for the tsunami looming over the horizon. Bye.